This strange robot is taking its first steps in a small research laboratory in New Jersey. Here, Europe's largest engineering company, Siemens AG, is aiming to revolutionize construction. It is a big challenge to construct something that we cannot reach areas like moon, the areas like, for example, radioactive. Those sort of areas, I think, is the, uh, main, was the main aim when I was designing. And I start to think what to build. Does it need to have legs? Does it need to have arms? Enter the Spiderbot, an autonomous crawling 3D printer with a hive mind. Built to collaborate in groups like an insect colony, the Spiderbot will require little involvement from human operators. The spider robots are essentially a cooperative platform uh, where we have uh, a swarm of different robots right, that are working together to build uh, uh, the same part. In this specific case, we wanted to create uh, a little proof of concept. right? So we went for uh, a very simple manufacturing process. Uh, imagine a, a robot like this, instead of being that small and working with plastic, imagine that like five, ten times bigger, maybe, and being able to manufacture with concrete those robots could start from the foundation. And then the more they move up, the more they can climb up because of the nature of uh, the uh, overall design. Evolution shows us the most efficient structure. That is what I believe. If you look in the spider structure, they can move like forward or sideways, any direction without any problem. We did like seven different designs. When I first come up with my first design, uh, I got like a feedback, oh, killer spiders. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I start to think, how can I make it like a little bit uh, softer, a little bit uh, gentle, to make it a little bit funny, maybe. And I added components like eyeglasses, and I put the laser scanner like a hat. These robots are not here to replace the humans, are here to bring a different level of uh, autonomy and efficiency to the process. We will probably be seeing more of these autonomous machines uh, around us, and some of those might be looking a little bit different, like uh, these spiders. And, uh, but the ultimate goal is always the same, to make our life better.